We're here at one of our suppliers picking up class 4 impact resistant shingles, Northgate, made by Certainty. I'm going to explain class 4 impact resistant shingles, promises, if it's misleading, if it's not misleading, how much you should pay for that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. you want to receive it all? Uh, sure. Let's get out of here. Before I lose you guys, let me make a quick disclaimer. I don't hate class 4 impact resistant shingles. This video is not about hate, it's not call them out or anything like that. I love class 4 impact resistant shingles. I think they have a place on the market. I just wanted an honest review of class 4 shingles. What does it really mean? If you're trying to pitch me better product, show me how is it better on paper. So we're going to talk about how much should you pay extra, how much contractors are charging, how much better does it really perform in a real life condition and the hail storms and stuff. So all of that when we get to our office. I firmly believe that class 4 impact resistant rating is the most misleading rating in the roofing industry these days. So we have a couple products here. We have Northgate, which is asphalt shingle. We have a couple just for the comparison, we have F-Wave, we have Echostar, we have DaVinci. Just to show you what you can expect and how they compare, it's not detailed engineer test. I'm not going to be performing anything with a steel ball. I'll just tell you that it's all about this two inch steel ball. Pretty much this imitates um, hail test when they do it to achieve that class four classification but in this video we're going to talk about cost of class 4 impact resistant shingles we're going to talk about their performance expectations that homeowners and contractors have and i'm going to give you my recommendation so i do like class 4 impact resistant shingles i think it's a good technology i firmly believe that all shingles on the market should be class 4 just because they're it's a better product it's better than regular ones so north gate by certain teeth it's definitely step up product from what shingles used to be 20 years ago it's thicker it's more flexible no question asked about initial quality it is better initial quality the problem with the class 4 rating is the expectation the promise the misleading factor to it uh, how much contractors are charging for them how manufacturers are pushing them and what consumer actually gets at the end so i want to explain to you on this example how it all works because we have a job right now it's a really really big project homeowners association have installed class 4 impact resistant shingles not by certainty by another big brand they put really big warranty behind it they pay extra dollars and two years later they have to do it again every homeowner in that association paid three thousand dollars extra just to go with the best of the best and it still failed and i'm talking to association right now and they told me and i agree with them 100 percent they felt misled so last night i went to certain teeth just for the sake of a research i pretend to be just a homeowner just like you if you're the homeowner you're doing research you're going on the internet you start looking for class four read all the articles and i'm here to tell you it's really really hard to find information about warranty about performance and stuff like that so let's talk about it cost how much does it cost it's a slightly better product so you can almost expect price always be higher all brands will sell it to you at a higher cost versus their baseline so it's a loaded shingle sbs technology is not cheap so it is more costly but it's installed the same so you labor to remove shingles is the same you labor to install the same so honestly it's just cost of the product so if you have a contractor who's trying to double their price to go to class four i would say run away he's not honest contractor he's just trying to increase his margins unreasonably i'm okay if a contractor charges more i would charge more because it costs me more but when you pay 30 40 50 dollars more per square and you charge 300 dollars more now you, you're no reasonable no more especially for what customers is getting it's not like product you know increase dramatically so if the product is 10 20 30 percent better the price should be higher maybe by 10 20 30 percent not by 100 or 200 percent right let's talk about performance so you have regular asphalt shingle you have class 4 impact shingle 
Then you have something like DaVinci, EchoStar, F-Wave, you know, these products here. So these three products here, they're pretty much rubberized or thermoplastic, completely different technology. So I always say, you know, go with your gut. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. So when this manufacturer is telling me that this product is class four and this manufacturer is telling me that it's a class four and this is class four and this is class four, this is not class four. Now, look at this and tell me what looks different. This looks almost identical. As a matter of fact, if you take this two inch steel ball and you're gonna start pounding, you know, this shingle, this shingle, this shingle, this shingle, and this shingle, few things are gonna happen. This shingle will bounce it, this shingle will bounce it, that shingle will bounce it, this shingle will be dented and this shingle will be dented. Now, the question is how much? So class four technology has nothing to do with the face of the shingle when it comes to granules, when it comes to actually what you see. So granules will be smashed. Now, what will happen is just because they added a little bit more SBS polymers to the base, so it's a little bit more rubbery. It's not like it's double or triple the size. It's, it's a slightly heavier shingle. So the rocks, the granules, still gonna be smashed. So you probably will still seal the dent. And we've done it here at Roofing Insights many times. So the last three years, I've done this test, I don't know, like 20 or 30 times. And some class four asphalt shingles, I mean, they're so bad, you don't see the difference between the regular ones. Hey, like, really? Like, what's the difference? You don't see it. Now, the difference is the mat behind it doesn't break. So if you look at microscopically, you're not gonna have a hole in your roof. It's, you're still gonna see the dent, but insurance company will come out, they'll investigate and they're like, okay, mat is not broken. If mat is not broken, then insurance doesn't owe you for replacement of the roof because this is cosmetic damage if you just smash the granules. So the, the key is not to break the mat. And class four, like I said earlier, is slightly better than that. So is it better? Yes, it's better, but it's relatively better. If you have two inch hail, it's still gonna get destroyed. And for that reason, nobody gives you warranty. They just say it's better, but it's not hail proof. Now, when it comes to something like Da Vinci, I mean, guys, I throw kettlebell in it. It's not a rocket science. You can literally, you know, keep smashing it. It bounces back. You, you see it, you believe in it. Rubber is the rubber, plastic is the plastic. So for me, I can't even put in line next to each other um, newer products made out of completely different materials. Now, metal shingles also gonna have class four metal, will not break, but it will dent. You have cosmetic damage. You obviously have sometimes pain damage. So metal, the same thing. When you test it, Metal is better, but it's still dense. It still affects performance. So for me, the only truly shingles that can be called hail shingles or class four shingles, it's a newer products that you can actually see bouncing and truly not being damaged by steel bolts or um, hails. Now let's talk about class four expectations. So the, that's the biggest problem for me. When, if you're the homeowner and you buy a shingle, and it's sold to you on a promise. Manufacturer comes to you and say, you live in a hail market, please, please install class four. You install class four, next year you have a hail and you have to do it again. Why? Because it was class four, but class four doesn't protect you from hail. It's just slightly better and it sells on the fact that it's hail proof, but it's not hail proof. On paper, it's not. So I've seen Da Vinci after hails, completely fine, survived. Uh, I've seen reports on Echostar surviving. I've seen F-Wave surviving. And I've seen a lot of reports where regular shingles get destroyed just like class four. And this is my bigger question on expectations. Expectations have to be reasonable. Your contractor, your manufacturer have to be reasonable with you how much they're gonna charge you. So for me personally, if you live in the hail market, I would only install class four. I wouldn't even call it upgraded anymore. It's just better shingle, you know, pay 10, 15, 20% more for it and be done with it. Don't try to charge way more. Don't make it as a pinnacle of your sales pitch of the best of the best, because what's gonna happen is just like the customer we're dealing with right now, when you install it and you sell them on the fact that it's class four and 
it's going to be, you know, the best thing ever happened to them. And next year, you know, their insurance company comes out and say, hey, your roof is shot again. We have to replace it again because of the hail this year. Now you're going to look really, really bad. If you install something different, you might have looked better, but if you sold it on a high price on the upgrade and set up those expectations really, really high, now you're just a bad guy as well. So last night I went to Certainty website and Certainty guys, I love you, love your products, but it took me 25 minutes to find a warranty on this. Why is that? So you go to Northgate, you, you do, you know, class four, Northgate or class 4 certainty shingles you see the brochure you see the information and then it gives you text for full warranty information ask your supplier I'm asking manufacturer and he sent me to supply right and then or go here you go there and you you keep looking look I mean it's it, it's hidden I'm not gonna lie to you it feels to me that certainty it and some other brands as well don't really want you to see the warranty. So on the brochure, they, sell, they tell you, if you live in the hail uh, climate, you want to install uh, Northgate, you want to install class four. But when you actually try to find a warranty, it's not there, it's not in the brochure, it's not in the fine print. As a matter of fact, this morning when I bought this, I came to supplier and say, hey, I'm gonna buy one bundle of Northgate, I wanna see how it performs, can you give me a warranty? So they didn't give me a warranty. They asked me for my email and they uh, said they, they're going to email it to me. Four hours later, I still don't have it. Surprise, surprise. Hopefully I'll get it today. Hopefully I'll get it one day. I don't know when it's coming. I don't know what's, what's the delay. I mean, you sell the product, show me the warranty, right? I already actually purchased it. I still don't have a warranty. Now, when it comes to warranty itself, I finally found it last night. Um, a lot of digging, went to the website in completely different page. And surprise, surprise, it says it doesn't have hail warranties. It's pretty much in limitations. So certain kid is telling you, if you have, you know, acts of God, vandalism, and some other stuff like fires, they're, they're not responsible for their shingle. And one of those reasons, one of those limitations is actually hail. So here you have manufacturer who is trying to pitch you and have this marketing message. If you live in a hail climate, install this on the left side, but on the right side they say, but if you do have a hail, we're not liable for this product. We're not gonna be replacing your roof for free. So why are you selling me class four and charging me more if you are not willing to give me better warranty? Because on paper, this shingle is the same as this shingle. It doesn't have better warranty. You know, both of them can be crushed with a one inch hail and I've seen it. A lot of roofers have seen it. So. If your roofer charging your arm and the leg, run from the roofer and probably run from the manufacturer too. They're just not honest people to do business with. That's my humble opinion. Anybody who's doubling their price for slightly better pro product, take advantage of you. If you like that, then go with them. If you don't, make a decision. Go with somebody honest. Now, my recommendation is this. My recommendation is very simple. I would install class four if I have a problem with my budget. If I can't afford superior product and I would install it as my base product, I wouldn't go super, super cheap, especially if the risk of getting hail is super, super high. I would install it. I just would not pay premium price for it. Now, I do like class four shingles. I like everything about them. I think it's the best product on the market today. It's flexible. Every manufacturer, like you have Duration Flex, amazing product. We're already selling them, installing them. I think we did like 10 roofs this year by far. Installers love it. It's definitely improved product. You know, Stormaster by Atlas, amazing product. You know, Malarkey products, amazing products. Northgate, amazing product. The problem is you really don't have advantage on paper. It's a slightly better. You're still probably going to be replacing your roof in case of real hailstorm. So it's not going to save you a day. If you live in Colorado or Texas, once hail hits, just prepare to do it again. So if you live in markets where hails are uh, happens too often and hails are big, not just like smaller events, you, you're talking about two, three inches, like in Colorado, they keep getting records every year now. So if you live in those markets it almost doesn't make sense to even upgrade even to this you, you might as well install three tab the cheapest of the cheapest because you're going to be doing it every year but if you're the homeowner 
and you're really looking for something to perform, trust your guts, trust your eyes, trust what you see. Go with something that you can destroy with a kettlebell. Look into products that truly perform. Do spend double the money or triple the money, but then you're gonna have peace of mind and you're actually gonna have a product that doesn't sound good, but actually performs good. So that's my take on class four shingles. Love you certainty, didn't wanna throw you under the bus, but you have to make that warranty available in your marketing materials, at least fine print, that this is not hail proof you know, shingle. If you don't have a warranty, guys, don't hide it. Uh, because when you make me to go and dig for it, I'll find it, I'll expose you. And it goes for other manufacturers too. OC, you guys don't have really specialty warranty. Nobody really guarantees the products. And I understand why, because they don't really perform so good against hail. They slightly better, they worth to spend more money for them, but not too much. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you're the contractor, I would like to hear from you. What products do you push? How much do you charge for your upgrades? What do you think about this video? What do you think about this topic? I want to hear from you if you're the homeowner and you're looking for trusted contractor in your area. I would like to hook you up with somebody in my network, somebody who I would trust my house with and I don't give bad recommendations. If I recommend you somebody, it's going to be best of the best. Hit me up. In comments below, go to our website. If you need a recommendation, would like to connect with you with the best of the best. Thank you guys, see you in the next video. 90% of you are watching our videos without subscription. I don't know what you're waiting for, but you don't wanna miss our sick content for roofing industry. Give me one of those, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.